Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. First I want to wish everybody a happy new year and those of you who are celebrating your birthday, happy birthday as well. This is your January uh, love and relationship uh, reading but as usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, so first we're gonna start with your animal spirit oracle card which for you is the koala spirit and as you can see spirit has a plan so when you kind of look at uh, the koalas they generally move slowly through the branches and eat their eucalyptus all day. This is like a very slow moving energy uh, that kind of remind you that that you know uh, life is not a race but more of a competition uh, so like you know uh, don't chase around any kind of distraction that can keep you uh, keep you away from recognizing all you need so this is kind of like a, a trust asking you to trust the universe that by moving slowly and having faith uh, the abundance the relationship whatever you are looking for will manifest in your life and this is a like you know just enjoy uh, the journey so called because there's something great is coming to your life like you know i don't know it's not necessarily uh, easy to enjoy the journey sometimes but just have faith that something great is coming to you so let's see in the center of your reading you do have the five of cups which is the card of sadness sorrow regrets and uh and mourning as well so some of you are going through some difficult time in your life and it comes to love and relationship because you are sad about something something that happened to you uh, some of you might have lost a partner uh, had went through a breakup or a divorce and you're not over it yet so this is the card that's kind of telling uh, you that not everything has been lost uh, there's still new things for you to discover and 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 just you know trust uh, the guidance that you you're gonna achieve you're gonna get something great out of it uh, you need to kind of with the five of cups you need to see things from a different perspective like this is a recurring theme uh, for the capricorn uh, kind of energy the five of cups in a relationship perspective so it seems that you some of you have some hard time of turning turning it around and see things from a different po uh, point of view. Uh, now the first card you have here is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, kind of like the koala, uh, when you know things are um, not necessarily, feel like it, they are in a standstill, but they're not, they're kind of moving. Because this is a, uh, even this knight is moving forward, he's just very slow because he takes um, everything um, into consideration when creating the plan so, but once once he gets going then something great is coming in something that you can rely on generally it's an indication of a long-term stable relationship a faithful relationship a reliable partner that comes into your life the next card we have here is the knight of wands which is the card another knight can be a person or the energy of the card he is an adventure seeker he is somebody who likes the new things he likes uh, adventures uh, and uh, and and he's somebody who's very free spirited enjoys the freedom and doesn't like to be bound by anybody now if you have gemini placement in your uh, chart or you're dealing with a gemini i definitely encourage you to uh, watch the reading for the gemini because it had very similar cards. So anyway, you have two kinds of very different energies here. Uh, the adventurous uh, Knight of Wands and the reliable Knight of Pentacles. Some of you might be battling inside these two energies. Some of you are dealing with two different type of personalities uh, that you're kind of uh, uh, balancing. Like, you know, one is very passionate, one is, both of them are very loving, but one of them is just very sparky, uh, and the other one is kind of like a little bit slow. And the next we have here is the Knight, uh, King of Cups. The King of Cups is 
uh, a very stable energy. He is somebody who is able to balance his feelings, balance his uh, thoughts, emotions, and he's somebody he, who's leading by heart. So this uh, this can be an indication that you know you might have been gone through some <clears throat> difficult times, some turbulent times, but you've been kind of quite stable. You've been managing it very well because you know he's able to control the emotions even though he is led by heart. It can be also a person who is very loving, very caring, who is taking care of people, a great father figure. The next card we have here is the Fool. Again, take a look at uh, Gemini because uh, they had the Fool as well. Uh, so Fool is all about a new start, a new beginning, a new adventure that you are embarking on. This can be a new relationship, this can be a new chapter in your relationship but it's also like very free spirit that some of you might be enjoying the freedom whatever you have if you are alone uh, this time and not necessarily rushing into anything but even in an existing relationship if you are in it it can be indicate some new chapter uh, showing up now the next one you have the other five um, the five of pentacles so some of you are really kind of heavy it on a sadness level right um, because you have five of cups five of pentacles five of uh, pentacles is all about like you know feeling alone feeling left out feeling out in the cold feeling lack not feeling enough uh, so some of you are really uh, having it at this period of time in in in, in that regards so like you know five of pentacles a um, couple of things you need to kind of turn this lack my uh, mindset of lack uh, around by focusing on being grateful for whatever you have whatever is good in your life because you cannot just sit in this uh, in this mindset uh, five of pentacles can be an indication that some of you have been single for a while some of you have maybe children uh, and uh, you're raising your children alone and that's kind of creating you some difficulties in terms of finding love some of you might be uh, challenged with some finances, maybe your partner is having some uh, financial issues, but there's definitely some, some challenges, some hardship for some of you that kind of you've been going through. Five of Pentacles is also all about help. So, so if you have a hard time getting out of this mindset, you need to kind of ask for help uh, because you have here the, the, the uh, key, which is kind of opening the door and you are able to get out of the sadness. So help is available. And the King of Cups can be actually a great healer, uh, a mediator, somebody who can able to get you out of this. So if you went through some difficulties, you have hard time getting over, losing a partner, a breakup or anything, since this is something that keeps popping up in, in, in this, I definitely recommend you to ask for some help. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing to ask for help. So let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. Uh, but before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to make sure that more people get this reading, this message, especially those who need to hear it. And for you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you will push those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm always very excited to read what is that happening in your life if you're willing to share it. So the next we have here is the Three of Cups. So the Three of Cups is the card of celebration, joy, happiness. So happiness is returning to your life. Uh, you just need to kind of have probably a little bit more faith and a little bit more positive attitude to it. Uh, because you know, you can kind of have the spirit has a plan for you. And, and the Three of Cups is all about happiness and joy as well. Next we have here is the Nine of Pentacles and look how happy she is. This is the card of um, stability, independent energy as well. So if you are single, you're not necessarily looking to settle with anybody. This is kind of like the energy when you are enjoying your freedom and you are actually um, very picky as well. And that's kind of, you, you have three cards here that kind of surrounding you that are talking about freedom and enjoying your freedom but somehow your sadness is around it. Uh, 
now in an existing relationship the nine of pentacles can mean that um, this is a mature relationship where you know you are kind of helping each other you kind of went through the initial difficult times of the relationship and you're actually comfortable now in this relationship it can be also a sign that your partner is giving you the freedom you need to uh, to live out your passions and hobbies and the next we have is the eight of swords which is an indication that you are in the prison of your thoughts uh, and uh, and again like you know this is kind of like an indication that you are feeling that you are trapped you're feeling that in a situation that you can get out of it and that's kind of very much connected to this lack of mentality of the five of pentacles and the five of cups so that's kind of keeping you bound and again you have the the king of cups who's a great uh, healer uh, a psychologist that can actually help you to get out of this so I'm, I'm really recommending for those of you who are having uh, a difficult time to actually ask for some kind of a help and when you're kind of looking at at the bottom of the deck you do have the death and rebirth card which is an indication that your life is going through a major transition a major change uh, that's a very significant part of you uh, so again I think um, you need to kind of ask for some help and that's gonna help you to get to a more positive uh, mindset I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again